it just makes things a lot more simple. Just able to focus on the bits I actually need to focus on because I'm no longer, you know, like you might have said, saving 20 things in 20 different areas and changing systems every other day of the week. Now we have cemented systems that we just kind of stick to. And it's no longer need to, you know, edit that every single time that we think of something new because we know this is what we need to focus on. And it's allowed us just to focus on client delivery and signing more clients, which is all you really need to do in a business, right? Hey, I'm Christian Crisillo. I'm one of the founders at Lynn Lead Generation. We're a B2B cold email lead generation company. And uh, yeah, we operate mainly in Europe, the UK, although we help people outreach to places like the USA, the Middle East, pretty much the entire world, wherever we can get an email to. And then, yeah, I'll leave it to Mattis to introduce himself as well. Hi guys, I'm Mattis. And yeah, as Christian just mentioned, we run a cold email lead generation agency. We've been running for about two years, is it now, Christian? Mm -hmm. Yeah, about two so years. So we're, we're at the stage of, uh, you know, implementing software and automations to improve our processes so uh yeah that's why we decided to work with tony and ryan there we go awesome well cool uh my first question usually it, it's what what initially what, what was the initial problem that prompted you guys to actually reach out to us what were what is it that we were trying to achieve yourself and then what what actually pushed you to to seek for help somewhere else yeah for sure i think one of the biggest issues we were running into was that we're doing pay per call lead generation or per appointment or per demo. So we get paid when somebody shows up to a meeting. So the problem is we'd hit, you know, the 29th, 28th of the month or whatever, we'd have to message people, our clients and say, who showed up? And, you know, suddenly they can't remember if people showed or if people didn't show. And suddenly we go from, you know, making 3000 per client to making 1,500 because they can't remember if anybody showed and we can't prove that, you know, that they did show. So we really, uh, it was Nick Abraham talks about it a lot, about a lot of his systems that he makes, Nick from Leadbird. And like, you know, then we decided to look into it a little bit. We met you guys through um through uh, basically just referral. And it was, uh, yeah, just helping with that really. And then we ended up getting a full package, which has uh, been crazy helpful for the business. Love it. Absolutely. Yeah, just to add on to that, I guess we were we were kind of struggling with some. I personally was struggling in my role because I did the campaign management, just having a centralized hub, and you guys really helped with that. Um, you know, we were trying to use Zapier for a lot of automations where, uh, they weren't too efficient. So you know, when we found out about you guys, we thought you could really help. We were like, yeah, let's give these guys a try. They seem really good. Um, you know, you had really good social presence. So yeah, we decided to hop on a call with Ryan initially, I believe, and yeah, just gave it a shot. There we are. And here we are, I think it's three, four months later. Now. Something like that, yeah. Something it's like something that. like that, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Ryan, you got shoot for your Yeah, question. I mean, so I I guess the the thing that I like at least we talk Tony and I talk about internally is like, well, sh if we're approached by a service provider thinking of hiring a service provider, it's like, well there's all these objections going through your head of like, well, I, we've never heard of this person. And what, if, like, what if these bad things happen or whatever? So like, is there, was there anything that you, uh, even in your private discussions, like were initially a bit hesitant about hiring somebody else? I mean, you're, you're hiring somebody else to go into like your most intimate, um, part of your business, mm -hmm. right. Which is how you fulfill for your clients. And if it's fucked up, then all of your clients are going to be mega pissed that they're not getting results. So, um, yeah, was there any, was there any hesitancies around hiring somebody for this or letting somebody like into how you do what you do or like, yeah, I think so. our like hesitancy that I kind of, kind of saw was that I, I, maybe everybody says this, but I feel like, like cold email lead gen is quite unique in like stuff that we do, you know, mm -hmm. it's very easy to build a very complicated system that like, you know, big companies are going to use, but when you're, you know, a five to 10 man band, you need very simple lean processes. And that's what we were kind of worried about. Like, are they going to be able to make us this thing that's lean and it does exactly what we needed to do. That's very simple. And it was like, when we saw the amount of case studies you guys have of like other legion companies you're working with, we were like, okay, these guys know what we need. They've done it before. So like, this is kind of perfect for us. And just seeing the case studies of like different companies you worked with, it just kind of got rid of any hesitancy i think it was kind of like uh we were waiting for you to send over the contracts we could sign it sooner <laughs> yeah cool. i think i remember 
we were super excited to work with you guys. We we just had like a really, really good month as well. So we had like with the money to begin working with you mm. guys. So that was one thing. Um I personally didn't have any hesitance hesitancy and Ryan just raised a really good point where, you know, you're exposing yourself to like the, the most intimate part of your business, like actual operations. So I kind of I was excited in an aspect in a certain way because I wanted to expose where our shortcomings were. And yes, yeah, so I didn't really have any hesitancies. And as Christian just mentioned, you guys had really good social presence and case studies. So yeah, I think we're more excited than hesitant to work with you guys. Love cool. it. Love it. Cool. What what has been, I'm curious, what has been obviously like we we saw like we solved the initial problems, which is like the the pain points of of like the lead generation companies. It's for always it's the call tracking, it's you know, making sure all the campaign stats are are you know properly matched and stuff like that. But ha- what has been some sort of backend benefits that you've gotten from using the system uh, that maybe what like didn't seem at the moment when you hired us, like this is even a problem at the at the point. The, the reason why I'm asking this is a lot of our clients always sort of refer to us as like, is once we solved a couple of the big problems, all of a sudden ideas started coming in. Oh, we could also do this. We could also solve this problem. Were there any st- kind of situations like that for you guys in the process? I think there were definitely quite a few because it's something where I don't think we realized those holes, but for me, guys working with other companies, you kind of like pointed out stuff that could be really beneficial. And I know Mm -hmm. like I was never at all involved in any sort of the campaign areas, but now I have a lot more vision into like the campaign creation where everything is. And it means that like our audit process is a lot better. So I'm able to sort of work together with Mattis rather than our two sort of different roles as founders completely separate we kind of help each other out a lot more and have more vision on what's going on so we can fix holes quicker, basically. Anything you'd add, Mattis? Yeah, I completely agree. To be very specific, I think I always knew in the back of my mind we didn't do a very good job of chasing like no-shows for our clients. And now that we're able to see a slack ping of our client marks or someone who showed up or didn't show up straight away, we can get our inbox manager to chase them straight away. Whereas before it was like kind of in the dark, like we didn't have too much time to actually check if they showed up and then get to chasing them so that's like a very specific thing that you know you guys exposed for us and improved in a way love it ryan cool i was gonna so you know i'm I'm not i'm the automation nerd some you know generally people expect me to ask about tech but um i i'd say like i know we're good at tech so you don't have to tell whatever fuck everybody else we're good at tech but i would love for you to, to uh share your experience working with our, our team in terms of like the, the actual service. Right. Cause that's all, sometimes the, the people that are like the tech nerds are like kind of antisocial losers. So uh, mm-hmm. I think our, I think our team was pretty cool, uh, but, but I, I'm, the people would like to hear from you as well. Absolutely. Tony, yeah, co- come on. Our team is cool. Tony, come on, come on. They are. They're pretty cool. <laughs> come yeah. on. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, what, what was it like working with the actual, like the actual service delivery of yeah. Working with our, our team. Really good, like being in the uh, in the Slack channel with you guys whenever we had an issue. Um, even if we didn't notice there was an issue, you guys would tell us straight away, okay, this was an issue, we're going to get this fixed. And whenever we had an issue, we just ping one of you guys and straight away we'd have an answer within, you know, half an hour to say, okay, if this has been logged, we're going to get this sorted. And yeah, the, the Loom videos that you guys make, the tutorials on how to use certain aspects of the build out uh, were really, really helpful. Um, and yeah, you guys are cool guys to actually work with. Yeah. As you say, you're not, you might be tech nerds, but yeah, you're kind of cool to work with. <laughs> we're like, I like to tell Tony, Tony was asking me today. We're like, we're like, look, we need to hire some more devs. Right. And he's like, what kind of person do we need? I'm like, we need like a dev that like gets laid. Like we need like a developer who <laughs> yeah. has like social skills as well. Right. So like, I think like, yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> This is a PG-13 uh, YouTube <laughs> channel. Um, I th- actually, no, it's it's not, though. It's now we've that ship has sailed. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anything else, Tony, that we. Yeah, I'm, I'm just like, finally, for me is obviously since since the moment you guys reached out to us and now it's been a couple of months. Um, if you could quantify uh like an improvement or quantify the progress in in certain area would you say it was efficiency did you guys grow as a company is your mental bandwidth now easier like what what would you say mm. is like a quantifiable result uh of having this system now implemented into your business i would say Excellent. the first thing is sorry question the uh, time savings for me 
uh, you know, I'm able to find, if I want to pull up a contract for a client, I can go to the Airtable infrastructure, pull that up, work out the price for, per call. I can go there instead of scrambling around and not having a very centralized process. Basically, I had like files everywhere, but having everything in one go. So time efficiency is the biggest thing. And as you just mentioned, uh, the the mental bandwidth is a lot less stressful, in fact, to uh, with the whole system, I would say personally. What about you, Christian? Yeah, it just makes things a lot more simple. Just able to focus on the bits I actually need to focus on because I'm no longer, you know, like Kimeta said, saving 20 things in 20 different areas and changing systems every other day of the week. Now we have cemented systems that we just kind of stick to and it's no longer need to, you know, edit that every single time that we think of something new because we know this is what we need to focus on. And it's allowed us just to focus on client delivery and signing more clients, which is all you really need to do in a business, right? Yeah. And providing it. Love it. Love it. And final, final question. If, if anyone's checking us out and has some hesitancy or they're thinking about hiring us, what, what would be a thing you would, you would tell them about us? Give it a shot for sure. If you're at, if you think you're at the stage where automations will help you as a business, give it a shot and see if you really truly are at that stage. Um, you don't really have anything to lose. I believe we are on a rolling contract every yep. single month. So, we did kind of sprints every single month and then we did like one big delivery at the end. Um, so yeah, nothing to lose there really. 100% give it a shot. Yeah, I'd say definitely go for it. It's surprising how much, you know, time you can save when you actually have all these automations. I didn't expect it would save that much, but it's, you know, made life a lot easier. And especially for our employees, it makes their life a lot, a lot easier. Things are so much simpler for him. It must save him at least 10 hours a week yeah. of chasing people. It's crazy. Love it. Gives you a lot of insight into into your own business as well. So that's another net positive, I guess. Yeah. The amount of money we've saved on like getting people back on to read booked calls. Like I wouldn't be surprised if that pays the system and a lot, lot more over the course of a year or two. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Awesome, guys. Well, thanks. Thanks for the Sweet. Video. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Perfect. Great to chat.